up, somebody better say amen. Degree. And that's knowing how to go to God in prayer. Amen? Amen. amen. I want everybody to give Jesus the biggest hand clap you can give. I was listening to him, you know, and I was praying, and I woke up, and I, and, and as, as I woke up, and I started praying, and I heard this voice say to me, and I'm going to convey that to you this morning. He said, be steadfast in God. I was like, mm, okay, okay. Then my subtopic, if I want to get a little subtopic uh, on the current topic, I would say be solid as a rock. Amen. Somebody better say amen. amen. That's what I want to talk about this morning. And I want you to go with me into the word of God, and I promise you I'm not going to be before the before you long. Amen. Except as God have his way. Bow your hands with me. Father God, I thank you for all things in the name of Jesus. Thank you for who you are, God. Most holy and gracious Father, we thank you. Thank you for the presence that I feel right now in this place. God, thank you for the expectation of your people that you are getting ready to move by your spirit and by your power. Lord God, I ask you to have your way in this place. Break every yoke, deliver thy people, save souls. Lord God, and we forever praise you and bless your name. And Lord God, as I expound your word of God, God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, let it come up. Bring forth a hundredfold. Lord God, that we can line our lives up with the word of God. This I ask in your name, I pray. Amen. Go with me too. Amen. Let's go. To the first chapter, the first Corinthians, first Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Amen. I just want to start, man, you got to be solid as a rock. I don't care what nobody says. In this day and time when everybody is changing and everybody is wavering, God is letting us know that I want you to be steadfast. Amen. Amen. And God. Amen. 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 Go with me to 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. And if you have to say amen. 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 And if you can stand, stand. If you can't, I, yeah, amen. As long as you just follow with me in the word of God. 15. And let's go to the, I want to go to the 51st verse. 1 Corinthians 15 and the 51st verse. And if you have it, can you read along with me? Let's read in concert. Read. Okay. And, and wait a minute. Hold on. Everybody got it? Okay. We, we'll wait for you. Amen. Y'all got it? Amen. If you, you got it on your phone, download it on your app. Get the Bible app. Come on. Amen. I'll wait for you. 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, and the 51st verse. And if you can read with me, I say thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. I want to hear everybody read this. Amen. Amen. Read. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. You better say so. Read on. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Read on. So when this corruptible in corruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that it's uh -huh, death is swallowed up in what victory read on or death what is 
16. O grave, where is thy victory? Read on. The sting of death is sin. Come on, wait, go back. The sting of death is what? Wait a minute, say that again. The sting of death is sin. Come on. And the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, uh huh, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, uh huh. Listen, I want this is where I'm coming from with my thoughts. Read again. Therefore, my beloved brother, brethren, be ye what? Steadfast. Go ahead. Uh huh. As much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Somebody better say amen. 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 I had to get all of that out to let you know that this mortal body, amen, when we die in Christ, you may be see it, that we're going to put on immortality. Somebody better say amen. Amen. When you've been immortal, some of you watched it on television, seen all the series, that that means that you're going to live forever. Can you say amen? amen? So in order for us to get to the place, in order for us to live forever, come on somebody, we got to do some works. Come on somebody, we got to work. Amen? Amen. amen. You're not going to put on, let it go corruptible, amen, this body that is corruption because it dies and gets sick and do all of these different things. But when we put on the Lord Jesus, come on somebody, amen. all of those things that will pass away. Somebody better say amen. amen. Now I want you to listen to me. I'm getting ready to talk to you now about be steadfast in God. Amen. You got to be solid as a rock. Amen. Let me read to you. Steadfast means firmly, firmly in position. Fixed. Immovable. Somebody better say amen. Immobile. Stationary. Steady. Somebody better say amen. Consistently reliable. Especially because of resistance to the outside pressure. Somebody better say amen. 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 I'm going to tell you today, out here in this world, that's pressure. Pressure on our job. Come on, somebody. Pressure in our home. Pressure in our community. Pressure in the White House. Come on, somebody. Know what's going on in this world. Hey! 
says you got. You got a two million dollar home. I heard a man told me when I was in the store and I was telling him about Jesus. He would tell me, Dad, yeah, uh, my pastor, he got a jet. My pastor got, uh, got waterfront properties. All of that stuff you're not going to take with you. Somebody better say amen. Naked, you pay me to this world. Naked, shall you return. Can you say amen? You got to learn how to stand on the word of God. Jesus wasn't. They trying to make Jesus like a prosperity Jesus. Amen. Talk about Jesus. Talk more about money than anything. You want to stop that. He talked about his father. He talked about the word of God. He talked about eternal life. Somebody better say yes up in this place. Do you understand what I'm talking about? This morning, steadfast in God, steadfast in the word of God. Let me tell you, when I was in that storm, that storm, and I was up right here with water, my car flooded. Somebody better say amen. But I believe and stood on the word of God. I said, Lord, either you're gonna open up and part these waters for me to walk out or you're going to send an angel lift me up stop way you're going to move by your spirit somebody better say amen you got to be solid in your faith somebody better say amen, amen. Lord, I feel like saying ah y'all are like I'm not preaching this is the word come on somebody Somebody better say amen. amen. This is the word. He said, steadfast, steady, immovable. I began to look. I said, wait a minute. Immovable. That means you're not moving. You're standing on the word of God. Listen. Immovable means not affected emotionally. Always appear completely unmoved. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. I said unmoved. Yeah. And then it said imperturbable. You got to learn how to have a poker face. Somebody better say amen. amen. Go to war and get the wave and get the run. You got to stand still and see the salvation of God. Somebody better say yes. They come to you on the left. Trials hitting you on the right. People behind you saying stop. You got to stand still and be unmovable. Somebody better say yes. Believe in the word of God. Trust in God for who he is. Can you say amen? Somebody better say it. Don't you let nobody move you. Don't you let nobody confuse you. You stand on the word of God. Somebody better say amen. I don't care what they say. People now are lifting a man like never before. The girl on my job, she told me, she said, Pastor Karen, she said, I don't understand this. She said, my pastor becoming a bishop. And they said, if we have the burp, we better hold that burp until he say burp. Y'all what? Y'all need to stop. Now that is dictatorship. All in the church. People want to control people. They use fear. Telling you all these different types of things. I, and I know, I'm, walk, I'm working on a book with that. I know back when I was 18, 19 years old, they was talking about God getting ready to destroy Mobile. When I was down at Mobile, Alabama, people listen. Get into the word of God yourself. Let God speak to you. 
Somebody better say amen. amen. The Bible said the Holy Ghost will lead you and guide you into all truths. Yeah. Can you say amen? amen? Listen at this. Unmovable is that not affected emotionally. Always appear completely unmoved, unaffected, and untouched. Then it says this. When you untouch your facial expression, that's what imperturbable is. It's, just, it's talking about you got to have a strong. I, I never will forget when Barack Obama was president. And you know people was hating on him from the beginning. And then when he got up in there, even our own people, own black people, I think he's the antichrist. Why did we do that? We don't even trust our own. Come on, somebody. We have been taught to trust the opposite color, and I'm not racist or anything, but I tell the truth about it. Come on, somebody. And we would trust them to the utmost. Amen. That's what happened to Jim Jones. Jim Jones led a whole lot of people to their damnation. All because they was trying to find utopia. Can you say amen? You don't know but utopia is, is in heaven. Somebody better say yes. You can't find that on earth. Can you say amen? He led all of those people following him. They said, they said he was God. Any time a man stand up and say he's God, I got scared when uh, Potus said that he was chosen. I would say God. Maybe he is chosen by the opposite divinity, by the opposite God. I said, whoa, my Lord. Talk about I could shoot a person on the street and nothing will happen. Y'all better open your eyes. Open your eyes. That man have followers. They already said, hey, impeach my president. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a civil war. Amen. Somebody better say amen. amen. But there is somebody higher than POTUS who we trust in. Amen. amen. And we pray to. Amen. amen. But when Barack Obama was in, in, in his office and he was reading something, and the man, all the congressional, all the, uh, the representative, the House and Senate, everybody was in there, he was doing his speech. And one man said, you lie! Barack Obama, look, I looked directly at his face. And he said, no, I did not. He didn't let that bother him. See, he didn't react to what that man said, but he act. No, I did not. And he kept right on going. And for a person to say that, and I was, I was looking at television when a woman put her finger in his face just like this. Now, if that was some of us, we would have slapped the fire out of her. Y'all know y'all. Y'all come on. Y'all to be real. She pointed her finger at his face. And you this and you that. And he listened. Very humble. Let me tell you. That's what we have to learn. We have to learn that. We have to learn how to act and not react when somebody act out of order. Amen. Amen. Amen? We got to learn how not to let people get to us. Yes. Amen? Amen? Amen. Somebody better say that. Yes. Somebody better say amen. amen. I was laughing at, I had to laugh, I was laughing at my granddaughter say, the lady wanted to give me a pamper, you know, a pamphlet, and she was doing like that. I said, no, thank you. And I was going to let my window down. I said, no, don't, don't give me your pamphlet. I said, I already know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Nana, don't you say nothing, Nana. Don't you say, Lord, and don't you say nothing. And I said, Whoa. You know, because I was just going to let her know why I didn't need that. You know, I didn't need that. Because one time, they did not acknowledge Jesus as Lord and Savior. And the Bible said, if you don't believe that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, and he's the son of the living God, you of that spirit, the Antichrist. You better say amen. And the Bible said, believe me, he is in the world as we speak right now. Unmovable. Me, 
unshakable. Calm and collect. That's what Barack Obama would just calm and collect and cool. He did not let nobody. That's just an example. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Here, get this rock and stone this woman. She committed adultery. Jesus just began to write on the ground. And they said, okay. They kept on talking. Jesus wrote on the ground. He said, okay, I tell you what. Let he that is without sin. Y'all cast it first off. Yes. You can't do it. None of us can do it. Amen. None of us. We didn't die for nobody. Jesus died for us all. Amen. 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 Give me a few more minutes. Listen. Unshakably. When the Bible said be unmoved. Stand on the word of God like never before. Amen. Amen. Stay calm. Glory to God. You got to know. You, and, and you got to get yourself into a place to be incapable of people upsetting you or agitating you. The devil will use people to agitate you. And you got to learn how to say, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember when I was in there and over, when we was over at the skating ring and this lady was so ugly and she was just um, just so ugly. We were standing in the line. Ariane was in the line and then I, I walked up there. I said, sir, I said, she's been in the line for a long time talking about Ariane. And I said, uh, can you wait on her? And he said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get her. This tall lady, she said, who do you think you are? gonna come up here and do different things and say different things. So uh, then she looked at Arion. Arion, Ar let me tell you, Arion would stare a dog down to the knees. <laughs> the way she, Arion, she just fixed that girl. She don't tell me. Arion didn't let that lady face her. Arion did just like that. Looking, at her. she said, "Look at her. She won't even move. Don't want to even say that." So I got between her and the lady. Because, and I said, now, I'm not going to let you bother me. You're not going to bother my granddaughter. I'm going to tell you just like that. And she said, I just came out of the hospital. And if I, what, the girl in the church, that, ooh, that lady don't know me. She don't know. I know so many moves. Oh, my God. I, I be <laughs> My brother taught me defensive karate. I know exactly how to take. I'm going to say, I know how to <laughs> but I know how to take somebody down. You know? and, and, and so I stood there and I always give God. I say, okay, God, God, I'm gonna move, you know. And I'm just standing there. And she said, and look at you. And I said, I said, sir, I said, excuse me, please wait on this lady. I said, because she must be desperately hungry. Please wait on her. That's what I did. But she just kept talking again. Her daughter came in and everybody, let me tell you. I know for a fact, if that lady would have tried to hurt me, my, all of my grandkids, man, oh my God. You know, they would have, they would turn it out. But see, but see, the Holy, they, but the Holy Ghost that I have, y'all stop it. But the Holy Ghost that I have, it just, that lady just got quiet. And, uh, but Arion is there. Arion didn't even blink her eye. I, I said, Arion, it's all right. She, Arion was just like this and stared at that lady. So, and I'm telling you, sometimes you don't, you can't let people get to you and you show it up on your face. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Still smile. You got to keep smiling, keep shining, and that's honest. You know, you got to make sure that you know who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Somebody better say amen. amen. And then the Bible says, and then I'm telling you, people be unshakable. Amen. In the Lord. And that means standing on the word of God. If you don't believe that God is has told you to do a certain particular thing and you don't understand, be still until you get clarification. Of it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Listen at this. And it said, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Y'all see that? Existed. This is what abounding means. Existed in abundance. 
And let's talk about four rich feel. Amen. Flowing. Everything that you are doing for God, that's your main purpose. One of the main purpose of being here on the face of this earth. Amen. Is to be in the work of the ministry and doing something for the Lord. Amen. 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 If God called you to be a deacon, a preacher, whatever God called you to be, amen, you get in the work of the ministry and work. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. You got to work. This is what the Bible says. And it's saying to each and every one of us, each and every one of us, he said, uh, he said, therefore, my beloved, come on, brethren, be ye steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the word of the Lord. Yes. My mom used to always say, I, I don't mind is the devil workshop. Get busy for God, people. Amen. Get busy for God. Work. Work while this day, because when night coming, no man can work. Amen. Amen. And the Bible is talking about abounding. What are you talking about? Abounding. Full and rich. It has to be overflowing, plentiful. That's a lot of work that we need to do for God. And the work is, is winning souls. Amen. Amen. Winning and loss at any cost. Amen. 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 People, we need to get about our Father's business. Amen. Amen. Listen. Amen. He said this. For the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Let me tell you, when you work for God, you do what the Lord says, says to do. You singing in the choir, you singing for God, working the ministry, working, doing everything that you need to do for the ministry so that gospel can be preached throughout the world. Somebody better say amen. amen. People need to be saved. They need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. People be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And listen, your labor, that means to proceed with and have a great Effect your labor. What, what are you talking about? Working for the Lord. Yeah. If you play a guitar, playing instruments, singing in the choir, cleaning up the church, amen. All of these different types of ministry, public, public relations, amen, amen. Doing the system, amen. Our PA system, making sure everything. All of that is working for God. Yeah. And then you would know that your labor would not be in vain. But listen, let me tell you. All of the ones that went to heaven, and I heard that the Bible says, he said, well done, that good and faithful servant. You got to have a servant mentality to know how to serve. Yes. And that servant in the ministry, serving and doing what you can for God. I didn't read not one time. God said, welcome, bishop so-and-so. Welcome, apostle so-and-so into the house. Welcome. He didn't say nothing but a servant. Your titles is nothing in the eyesight of God. It's nothing. You are a servant to the Most High God. That's what we all are. Amen. Amen. We are trying to work and work for the ministry, the same souls, to tell somebody about Jesus Christ. He's coming back again, people. I said he's coming back again. When you read that 1 Corinthians, amen, 15 and 58. Let me give you some more scriptures. 1 Corinthians 7 and 37. Amen. That's when you talk about steadfast in your heart. Amen. And it also brought in and said, if you have a wife and a person that, that is so close to you, you got to make a decree. And you wanted to make that person to maintain and be a virgin forever. He said, it's all right if you want to do that. And if you don't want to do that, it's all right to marry. That's what he basically said. You got to be steadfast in your heart. Amen. That's 1 Corinthians 7 and 37. 
Let me give you 1 Corinthians 9 and 16. I definitely want you to look at this scripture. And then I'm going to close. Amen. I think I got one more scripture. Somebody give me Psalm 78 and 37. Psalm 78 and 37. Let me go to 1 Corinthians 9. Everybody turn with me to 9 and 16. Amen. I'm, I'm, done. I'm finished. Amen. I'm not going to be before you long. Amen. 9 and 16. Listen. This is what Paul says. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is me if I preach not the gospel. Now that's powerful right there right there. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. Listen, people. We're working for the Lord because we want to do it. Amen. You've got to have